This is lesson 411, dealing with scale factors. And uh, we're going to start off just following along with the book. Question number one, has Karen learning how to use a copy machine at her school's main office and decides to scale the figure shown by 300%. And she's wondering what will happen to this figure if she factors it to 300%. So we're going to copy this on our dot paper and scale it to uh, 300%. So let's start off with this is number one. So we're going to draw this in the bottom, this side, the top part, and go diagonal here. All right, so the dimensions of the figure, uh, it's always good to mark the dimensions that we do know. So this one down here is two units. This is one unit, two units, one unit, one unit, one unit. Okay, so if we're going to scale it to 300%, then what is going to happen to it? So scaling by 300% means we are going to multiply all of these sides by 3. So we increase it to 300%. Let's do... Okay, so this side that was 1 is now 3, and this side that was 2 is now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This side that was 2, 2 times 3 is 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And this side that was 1 is 1, 2, 3. This one is 3. This one is 3. And then the diagonals, uh, we don't know these diagonal distances, so we're just going to connect those two dots. So this is 6, 3, 6, 3, 3, 3. Okay, so the uh, first question is, if you look at these two figures, what happens? What happened to the uh, original figure? And it increased in size. So that's the first thing we notice. All right, so we're going to focus in particular on this bottom side right here, which is two units. And the question is, which side is in the same position as that side, which is two? And the answer is this one right here. It's on the bottom, uh, bottom left side. They're in the same position if those are facing the same way. So this is called corresponding sides. And the definition of corresponding sides <clears throat> are basically sides that are in the same position. Okay, sides that are in the same position. This is a very important concept right here. So let's make sure that we do remember it. All right, so <clears throat> question number... Uh, Number B also says, uh, what is the length of the side of the copy? What is the length of the side of the original? And how can we write and simplify a ratio of this pair of sides using the uh, format of copy over original? So we know that this one was our original because this is what we drew it from originally. And this one would be our copy. This is the one that we scaled to uh, 300%, right? So from here to here is a 300% <clears throat> scale. So this is a uh, question B, which asks about the scale factor. OK, so the scale factor would be the side on the copy, which is 6. over the copy on the original, which is corresponding with it in the same position, which is 2. OK, so we just need to, for right now, remember this, this formula, copy over original. So we have the copy, which is 6 units, and the original of its corresponding side is 2. So this would be the scale factor 
according to these two corresponding sides. Now, if we look at another set of corresponding sides, okay, just pick another side. Let's pick the one way on the left on the side. This one is <clears throat> one unit here, and the side that corresponds with that one would be the three here. So if we were to find the, the scale factor, according to those two corresponding sides, copy over original would be three to one. And if we pick any other corresponding sides, let's pick this top one right here, and then this top one right here. It was two originally, now it's six. So if we were to go copy over original, that would be six over two. And we already have that as scale factor. This is a three, and it corresponds with the one. This is a one, it corresponds with that three. But either way, our scale factor is three over one or six over two, which is three. All right, so this is an important concept to uh, remember. So I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, highlight scale factor, which is copy over original. Very important fact to remember. All right, <clears throat> so the, our, our next question, question number C, is to choose another pair of corresponding sides. Now, the other ones that we looked at, what is the copy over original ratio? Okay, and the ones that we just looked at, the ones up here all have the same scale factor. So <clears throat> we could say that all corresponding sides have a ratio of 3 to 1. And <clears throat> this would be any any set of corresponding sides that we that we choose to choose to look at. So for <clears throat> question number D, uh, predict a simplified ratio that you would get for any other pair of corresponding sides of the two figure. So any other figure that we have not yet looked at, uh, let's say this one, we can assume that the side that corresponds with this would be one, or the side that corresponds with this would be six. All right, so this allows us, knowing the scale factor in these two uh, figures, which are called similar figures, <clears throat> we can we can figure that they're all equal to, they're all 3 to 1, which as a decimal is equal to 3, which as a percent is equal to 300%. Because we always move the decimal twice to the right to get, uh, get the percent. So let's look at a second figure here. So in our second figure, Karen wants to try scaling this figure here by 50%. So what do you think, what do you predict might happen if she scales this figure to 50%? And how would we go about doing that? So let's first draw this. So this side is 1, 2, 3, 4. This side is 2. We go down 2. We go to the right 2, down 2. To the right two, down two, over four, two, three, four, and then connect those with the diagonal. So we can go ahead and mark all of our sides. And it's always good to <clears throat> to mark this is our original figure. And if we're gonna scale it to fifty percent. All right, so scale to 50%. What are we going to do to it? Because if you remember, up here, we scaled it to 300%. And what that meant is, if we scale it to 300%, we multiplied every side by 3. Right? So if we're going to scale it to 50%, what is going to be our multiplier? And that multiplier would be 1 half. Okay? Okay. We'll put it as a fraction times one half. All right, so let's go ahead and draw that. So that means the side that corresponds with this one here, the original is four, the new one would be would be two. And then this one was two, is going to be one. So go ahead and draw the rest of those. And let's label this the copy. This is two, one, 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 
two. All right. So, <clears throat> question number two. Okay. So now that we uh, uh, did the uh, copy, what is the scale factor? What is the ratio of corresponding sides? All right. So let's <clears throat> let's look at this and. Now, first of all, what happened to the figure when we scaled it to 50%? It got smaller. It decreased in size. Okay, first one increased, scaled it to 300. This one decreased, scaling it to 50%. Why is that? All right, so let's do the next question, <clears throat> uh, which is what is the scale factor? So we're going to pick a set of corresponding sides. Go ahead and pick... Uh, the side, uh, let's pick the very top one. This is two. Which side corresponds with that two? That would be the one. So if we are going to follow the formula of copy over original, then that scale factor would be one to two. Now pick another set of corresponding sides and let's pick this four, way on the left. Which side corresponds with it? this two. So the ratio of copy to original is two to four. And notice these are the same. Okay, and there's that formula again, copy over original. All right, so let's highlight it again because that is a very important part. <laughs> okay, so question uh, uh, see, okay, locate at least three pairs of corresponding sides. There's nine in all, and write and simplify the ratio of each corresponding side. So what is the ratio of every single corresponding side? <clears throat> the ratio is one to two. Okay, so this right here, all these sides are going to be two to four, two to four, one to two, one to two, one to two, one to two. So this is the scale factor. Scale factor is 1 to 2, because that is a copy of original of our corresponding sides. Okay, so what these are called is these are called similar figures. And similar figures are figures where you do have the constant ratio of copy to original of all corresponding sides. So, for example, this one, when we copied it, scaled it to 50%, Every single side reduced by half. Every single side increased by three. Now, do they have the same shape? They do. They have exactly the same shape. But do they have the same size? No. So similar figures don't necessarily have the same size, because if this was exact copy of this one, what would be the scale factor if it was exactly the same size? And the answer is it would be a hundred percent copy because this would be a, a multiplier of one. Okay, so let's define similar figures. Similar figures are figures that have the same shape, <clears throat> and all the corresponding sides have the same ratio. All corresponding sides have the same ratio. <clears throat> and that means it doesn't matter which sides we pick, it will all have uh, the same ratio as any other uh, corresponding side. Okay, And, and like I said, if, if it's the same size, if it's scaled to 100% and it looks exactly like this, same size and same shape, the ratio would be 1 to 1, 1 to 1, 1 to 1, which is 100%. So for the third one, uh, this is one that you are going to do on your own. So you're going to copy this figure here, and you are going to choose a factor, any scale factor that will make it larger or increase in size. Name that scale factor, and you will find one that is smaller that will make it smaller or decrease in size. All right, so first thing we're going to do is let's go ahead and copy this. So it's one here. 
and it goes six down three four five six and then three this way one two three and then three up three and then we're going to connect these so just go between those dots and connect the two here <clears throat> okay so your job is to make it <clears throat> make it smaller uh, and larger so the first thing you want to do is tell me which scale factor will make it larger put that scale factor here okay what percent are you going to uh, enlarge it to and then for question B tell me the scale factor that will make it smaller what percent or what ratio are you going to scale it to okay so in these <clears throat> put the scale factor Now you may need to, uh, for the one that you're enlarging, you may need to overlap on these if you're going to draw it, uh, depending on your scale factor. So go ahead and draw over any of this. Uh, try not to make it too messy. <clears throat> 